episode 41. Cheers! On the bongo. Beep pop a beep pop beep pop beep Okay, can you hear my fan? No. Can't okay. My arch stream has music playing. Let me mute it real quick. I mean, I hear my my own fan, so yeah. No. Okay, good. Also, no one's lighting up green. So, no. I have you the fan going on high because. Freaking high temperatures, Mr. Freaking 100. Bunga bunga, I'm gonna build a big green stompy deck. <laughs> no! Filled with tr trample and fucking indestructible and six sixes. <laughs> couple of trees. You need to turn up the audio. Uh, don't mm. okay. Then again, I've got an art stream playing with music and your stream, which is buffering like a mofo. I'm so. here! Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. What? <laughs> Shriek, turn me up a little bit. Shriek, turn me up. Okay. Ah! Uh. Fuck. 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 I only heard the first fuck, then the screams are buffering, so, uh. Un momento. Okay, about now. Eh. 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 I do not hear you. I'm hearing uh, the stream through God. Yeah. Uh, I do not hear his. Like, uh, the stream's loud enough from God, so I do echo through his own headset. Or microphone, whatever the hell you're using. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, how's that sound, God? Yes. Very good. Yes. Very good. I do not hear your soundboard, though. God damn it, why not? Discord, you sack. I, I hear it through his stream, well, through his headsets, but... I do not hear it through Discord. But yes! Welcome all of you who watches us. My main question is, why? <laughs> Hopefully, this session goes without arguments. And it'll be nice and chill. I do need to set up a town right here. I shall do it, Peter. Whatever, motherfucker! There we go, I can hear it now. Holy shit, that's loud. Turn me down. <laughs> the stream's still buffering for me. So, uh... Okay, come down, come down, come down. Refreshing. Hello? Odoko. Oh, loud and clear. Smoke and cokey. And I, I, I. Let's say fuck it. Everybody make a ton of noise. That work? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we are waiting on most of the people here to get their butts back in here. Well, we know one has to start laundry. The other two, I don't know if he even said anything or not. Uh, I'm also not that observant. Charlotte Sorry. did say she would be late. She's grocery shopping. Oh, right, I remember reading that. So it's just Thunder <laughs> we're honestly waiting on. And also Kopi to get out of the bathroom. Yeah, but they're in the voice call, so technically speaking, they are here. <laughs> they're just muted. Yeah, me. So Hurry up. This is the equivalent of showing up to the classrooms, putting down your backpack, and then fucking off to the restroom. Okay. And you're oh, going to take roll calls, see the backpack, and go, okay, yeah, they're here. <laughs> okay, raise your hands. If you basically okay. did that, stay rest of the day in the bathroom in school. No. I mean, I was in the bathroom to skip a gym class once, but that's just because they were going, ha ha, you didn't run a mile, so instead of doing the normal Friday, whatever the fuck, you're going to do exercises. It's like, fuck you, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good choice. I also skipped half a gym class to do an interview, but I waited for after we did the stupid little test thing they were doing because I was being considerate of them. Being considerate. Ah, uh, bloody hell, where? Okay. Welcome! I will not butcher your name. I am more honored than that. You wanna try, Kagro? Welcome, Vile. Trying to roll over a counter right now, but I will. I mean, okay, I restarted the timer. Uh. Soy Clooper Vile? Did I get your name right? Yeah, I would mess up their names. So I'm not gonna try. I'm sorry. Hey, did I get your name right? Type in chat. Why or no? Oh shit. <laughs> or no shit. I'm sorry. The art stream I'm watching has music and their voice working, so I didn't realize they were the one talking for a second. There, I was like, who's in the voice call that I don't recognize? <laughs> But yes. Welcome to this madness of merchants. Right now we are waiting on three people. One, Does two, that include me? Two people. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't notice you joined because he joined quietly. <laughs> no, no, no. I literally screamed my feet hurt when I got in. Y'all just ignored me. We did not hear you. Your mic must I didn't have hear messed that. up. I didn't hear a no. comment about that. I'm uh, sorry. That's fine. Don't worry, in five minutes we'll be starting. Whether they're here or not.
Okay. In a post-apocalyptic world, what three items would you be carrying? Well, three weapons, sorry. We should be starting top to the bottom. Kagura. In a post apocalyptic world, who in the what now? What three uh, weapons would be carrying? Guns. Uh. Weapon. Right, guns and melee weapons and no. etc. I would have a I would have some sort of melee weapon that's probably blunt force. A form of bow or crossbow stolen from a sporting store, along with arrows, and then probably something to use to gather resources, so like a wood or a pickaxe, an axe or a pickaxe. A uh, gun. Also, inconvenience. I must GTFO. Uh, I, I, I actually have a good uh, wait. Uh, an item to defend myself, a first aid kit, and water filtration. Bit. I said three minutes. Time for talk about. Got. Huh? I was asking people, what three items would they be carrying? Well, three weapons would they be carrying in a post-apocalyptic post -apocalyptic world? A chemistry set. You can you can filter water with a chem chemistry set. I can make bombs with a chemistry set. So that's kind of like a weapon. Yes, mm -hmm. you can. Okay, so a chemistry set. Uh, 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 uh. Oh wait, we're live when I said that. <laughs> yes. Uh, a a a a uh, Romanian soldier sword. It's like a scimitar, but it's it's fucking deadly. Oh, a bullshit. Not a falcon. Uh, hold on, me. Uh, Romanian sword. Ah, oh, so what, what? What are we doing, everybody? Are, are we? Are we fighting? Are we winning yet? Uh, right now, guys, debating on what's uh, what three weapons. He'll be taking. Well, what would he have in a post-apocalyptic world? We leveled up to like level twenty last session. Nope. Well, we at least leveled up to level 9, though, right? 19, I should say. Nope. You see what to deal with people. <laughs> oh, level 10. Uh, no. Joke's on you, fool. We are level 10. <laughs> you are? <laughs> Idiots! <laughs> yeah, we're leveled in. <laughs> oh, good that I can start killing you guys again. So we just sitting here in silence, just enjoying ourselves. Mm -hmm. Oh God! For a sword. Yeah, a Romanian. Cutlass, I believe. Uh, an Ips an Ipsilante. Ipsilante? Okay, get one more. Ah. A slingshot. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Ben, now you can say what you want. I wasn't going to say anything. Ben gets nothing. Okay. Oh, you're talking about that. Yeah, uh, a weapon to defend myself. Um, yes, but what? First aid. Uh, any, like a gun or a sword. Be more specific. Uh, s s uh, a gun or sword. I don't have to be specific about that. A gun specifically chambered in uh, five, uh, five, five, six. Uh, second, a first aid kit. Third, water, water filtration device. How is a first aid kit or a water filtration device a weapon? 
the first aid kit has scalpels in it and the filtration device I can bash it on someone's head because okay. it's solid. Okay. Check that. You can That's... kill somebody with a Brita filter. <laughs> also, it's solid. It's solid enough to withstand a lot of abuse, so you can bash it on someone's head. Plus, you get to filtrate water. I mean, you can do that with charcoal. Yeah, but that's not as good. It doesn't taste good. Uh, Colby. Are we talking about this? We're talking about this stuff in game, right? Because I was super confused about why he was talking about a fucking water filtration. No, I said. <laughs> I mean, it's just charcoal. Also, the reason why I specified uh, a gun chambered in five five six is because that's the most mass-produced ammunition. I mean, I thought we were doing this in game. Yeah, I was. Too, oh, in game? Oh. No. Yeah. No, I was saying in real life. Question was proposed, so. Oh, wait, three three weapons in real life? Yes, what well, three weapons would you have on you to survive an apocalyptic web world? Post apocalyptic. My, my answers remain unchanged. Yep. Well, first of all, I'd need a, uh, 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 a, a never. a, a machete that never doles. Has uh, two times sharpness on it. Or when them zombies get close, up close. This is not Minecraft. <laughs> uh, no, well, his you... his machete has a fine sharpen, yeah. and that's it's, it's it's finely sharpened. Like it's it's that sharp where you just lay a rag on and it cuts through it. It can cut through a lime like butter. <laughs> All right, so we we got we got the machete, right? We got, yes. we got the we got the machete, machete. <laughs> machete. Let's see, something. I would need something that is easy to maintain. Uh and something that has can load. I'm thinking... More than likely... Shotgun. A, sing a single, uh... Single shooter shotgun. Not one of them motherfuckers that's got the goddamn drums on it, because unless you're just carrying drums around on you, that shit ain't gonna fly. Really? Not a uh, shot-off shotgun? I... The bullpup shotgun. Fair. Cuz. You got one more weapon. It look it looks cool. Was a, and you know, it's a shotgun. So. And yeah, most most of them, I think they come with an actual uh, clip that you load shotgun shells. In. Plus I'm fucking insane and looking at the wrong thing. I think so. I, mean, I, could, I could buy me one right now for three hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you can't tell, I'm looking at guns online to figure out which kind of gun I would want. So yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's a machete, a bullpup shotgun, and then just for like giggles. A fucking uh, uh a UP4. Not not a U, not a UP4. Jesus, what the fuck? Uh, Bombs. No, no, it, it's a it's a it's a type of submachine gun. Ah, uh, <laughs> Uzi nine millimeter. Uh no no no, it's it's it starts with a U. Ah oh, Jesus. My mind, my mind is dead. Like I'm trying to remember what the fuck it's called. Definitely not a Uzi. Whatever, a submachine gun. I I can't find the name. Okay. <laughs> I hate it. No, no, you're good. I'm I'm looking at various websites to sell guns now. I've probably <laughs> been put on like. Oh, the U UMP! Jesus, what did I get the UP for? Wait, wait, hey, wait, wait, hey, Colby, let me suggest something. 
this gun is literally so ridiculous that it was categorized as a sports rifle for a joke because of how unconventional, but it can take out an entire building in a tank. It's called a Barrett rifle. The, the, the thing is that we're, we're not fighting builders and tanks, we're fighting zombies. Sorry. <laughs> 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 zombies and, zombies and people. <laughs> think, of, think of it like this. Think of it like this. There's, zombies are coming out of a uh, tunnel system. You just shoot above it and you collapse the entire mountain. And, and then Landsat land, and then Landsat will just drop on you. Think of it like this: fall on top of you. But so, did Colby, a Barrett rifle, literally you have to shoot it while laying down, or else it will fling you, like a couple feet away, and break your shoulder in the process. So, are we so, ignoring the fact that we are in a zombie apocalypse and you're talking about using a weapon you have to lay down to use? Yeah, well, like, <laughs> you, totally you can die on your own time, Tariq. You, I mean, Ben, you can die on your own time. Listen, I am they're not walking dying towards you slowly. They're that walking game. towards you slowly in a, gr in a group, so all you have to do is aim in the center and you're going to kill all of them anyway because the wet lash of it going through them is going to go to the or, side and do shrapnel or, that way. You hear me out. I don't do any of that, and instead, as they're walking slowly away from me, I run fast in the opposite direction. <laughs> you know, in a zombie apocalypse movie where they're fighting zombies and shit, you don't want to be in that situation. You want to be fucking somewhere else. Where would you be, Colby? Huh? Where would you be? Uh, not where the fucking zombies are walking close to me at. Where would you hide? What state or country? What, what, where would I hide? I would hide in somewhere incredibly fucking hot. Or incredibly uh, cold. Incredibly cold would be better. Alaska! And here's the thing that I never quite understood about the zombie movies. Uh, you see these movies like fucking Walking Dead. That's just like, it's been years and the zombies are still around. Unless that fucking zombie virus thing prevents the decay of the body also. It doesn't. They always say it, it, they decay. Yeah, uh, so them, them, there'd been no fucking way them bodies have been up on walking after a couple of years. That was out of the cave. The All zombies right, should have, already have be you, dead. Have you, what if they're magic zombies where, like, they're just uh, uh, well, animated uh, skeletons? Well, well, shit! If they're if they're if they're magic zombies, there's not much you can do about that. As a matter of fact, you might as well just kill yourself and save yourself the trouble. Uh, make sure make sure you're doing it in such a way it's where the the magic zombie gene, gene can't use your brain. Never quite understood that shit either. Are they able to reassemble themselves when they're destroyed? Oh, bro, well, if, if that's the case, you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah if they can reassemble themselves no, when they're no, destroyed, either. just kill no. yourself. They're deadites. <laughs> just shoot the just brain. kill yourself. You, there, there is no winning that scenario. Then, you, you'd have to fully, fully destroy the body, or would it come back from that shit too? As long as there's an atom left. This is not Deadpool, back. people. This is not cell or Deadpool. These are just you know human zombies. I have a question. Uh, since in all the media, zombies can't survive in cold. That means that the virus is uh, dead. Ha the virus. There's a whole movie about like Russian zombies during like the winter in like World War Two. Yes, like, I remember that. Front. They are wearing uh, colds. They're wearing coats. Yeah, I, think they, I think they just recently did like a fucking insane zombie movie that just came out called Alone. No, no, no that's that's not it. Uh, I think it's Silence. Zombie movie. Okay, uh, alright, so it, it was called Alone, it's just that there was another fucking- there's like 12 different movies that are called Alone that came out in 2020. <laughs> but it's like, the fucking zombies remember shit. <laughs> if they remember and, that, and, then so no. actually, actually let, let, let me let me rephrase that. It's not really a uh, a zombie type of movie. It's more like a fucking infection that's driving people to cannibalism. Yeah. It's the Wendango movie. But anyways, enough about that. D and D time. D and D. 
Ah, uh, yeah, it's been a while, so they can come in whenever they want. Where we last left our armed misfits, they just got out of a discussion with the father of the church, uh, Scotty. Look at them dumbfounded as they come to him for a criminal charge, Ben. Why are you, why are you calling me? <coughs> After a quick discussion, he tells them to go to the guard outpost so they can do their job and not bother him with trivial tasks that has nothing to do with him. Ben. Oh my god. Why did you call my name? You're the one who suggested all this, Ben. Oh yes. god, move on. Move yeah, on. I, 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 yeah, I suggested, and everybody Thunder could disagree, so you can't put blame on me. It's the entire party that I agreed to go to. Oh, I'm not ways? leaving the party. I asked, I made a suggestion, and everybody was like, that sounds good, let's do that. Well, anyways, they got to the uh, guards' outpost. Where they quickly talk to the guards and inform them on what's going on with the castle and everything. And where they met a Goliath guard captain where he basically discussed them on what's going on about. The trade post has been emptied for a few months, for several months, due to the out outbreak of the icy storms and the ghost wolves that suddenly vanished a couple of days ago. And so he told, he informed the party that they can start advertising Sahagin being free from that. So, with a quick discussion of what to do next, they re they wrote a note to Dream Crusher, their employee employer, an informant, that Sahagin is safe to start sending other merchants down here to do some trade with food and other goodies. And so, we arrive at back, our party gathering up into their cart, and planning ahead towards the cave, which they wouldn't been warned by the dwarf they just met. A cave of impending doom and death. We get it, we get it, it's dangerous, we're still going. No one else has voted against it yet. Sh Shereen kills your character for back talking to him. <laughs> I can and will. He's, he's done it before. He's not scared of it, Ben. I know, Stop. I know. Stop before he kills me again. Please. <laughs> I'm just saying if anybody I suggests a different plan, piece. we'll go for it. I don't I don't know if my heart could survive another character dying, Ben. I don't know if I can. <laughs> What's in the cave? We Until don't know. The, the, the shape that we don't know. We don't. Right, yeah, well, what yeah. I do know. So I sent Skull to go get me some giant skin, and he still ain't back. Oh, that's a good point. It's a very good point. Maybe we should wait for Skull. No, I'm gonna go to. I'm, well, first, I'm gonna find out if he even showed up yet, and then, then we'll move on from there. You are yep. welcome to join me. I will join you. It was directed at the party. I do. I'm just joining you. Oh, I'm worried man. about my. I'm worried about my server, bro.
I saw I saw you break up that. Well, yes. Roll me animal handling check. Gore hammer. Oh, I, I would just like to tell everybody, um, just letting you know, my brother, my brother is hibernating right now. Uh, more than likely, I'll be switching with him at some point. But he's lost yeah, in, in case, the Victory Bell's caves. He's, he's what lost. Am I what? rolling? Victory Bell ca caves. What am I rolling? Animal handling, to get Animal the uh, to get Victory Bell moving. Wait, you didn't roll natural hand and you just rolled on D20. Well, that's because I'm currently leveling up hammer to level 10. What's, what's your, what's well, your hand? Oh, uh, you rolled on natural hand. Uh, it's a plus, well, it's, it's, well, my wisdom's a plus, you're pretty sure I'm not proficient in Or hammer? I, 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 um, I go to help him. We're, 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 fuck, we're back in Muda. Yeah, see, I helped him. <laughs> I helped him. <laughs> No, you're not ruining this one for me. The, the, no, I, I, yeah, I, I will ruin this for you. I will try my best to do so. It, do, you can tell me no. You don't have to be like, okay, you you're fine. You can be like, nope, sorry. He's doing it. So the consequences are felt by everyone else. Well, just know if you do that, I'll hit you. You stop Victory Bell from dragging Gorehammer into the caves. Because he grabbed Gorehammer's leg. I can look like I start dragging him on the ground. But with your quick wits and cunning, Bless Booter, you bopped him in the nose and pulled him back in front of the cart, hooking them up. I would just, I, I would just like to say, uh, usually you, you, you don't stick your hand in his mouth in order to get him to do stuff. You, you're supposed to, supposed to put the harness on him so he can pull us. Just in case you were confused. Good point. Ah, with a quick of the whip of the reins, Bloodspooter and Gorehammer take front as they go back to the Monster Emporium, owned by the gnome. One second. I have it written down. Jimothy Jackwell. Is that his name? <laughs> God damn it, I actually forgot his name. I know I had to write it down somewhere. Well, what's wrong with the name I gave him? I think it's a pretty good name. Yes, Reed. What's wrong with the name God gave him? I shall use that name later. Jimothy Jackwell, nice to meet ya. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real good name. <laughs> I forgot the, the gnome's name. The, uh, gnome's name. The own the uh, Monster Emporium. I wasn't I didn't know it, it, sorry. Re. You know what? Fuck it, I'll use Jimothy. Jimothy. Jacksonville? Jimothy Jackwell. Jimothy. You know, like Timothy, but with a J. Yeah. And Jackwell. Jackwell. He's in a well of jacks. Or one who jacks well. Okay. You guys make your way down the streets. Ah, eh, people are still begging for foods. As there are still... Well, they're not begging for food. They're begging for coinage. Because you can see that there are some homeless people here.
But yes. We quickly down to the Monster Emporium, owned by the gnome, Jimothy Jackwell. Oh, what are you? Well, good evening. This is the monster merchant? Yeah. Greetings, my name is, uh, Skull Gorehammer. I was wondering if you had seen my nephew, uh, oh, I remember Skull you. Gorehammer. You start by here with the two-headed, well, multi-headed giant. And those fuzzy creatures. The abominable yetis. Alright, so, so he was here. Okay, do you know which way he went? Uh, for your friend there, I do not know. I haven't seen him. What do you mean, Yavin? You said he was here. Oh, no. I was saying I'd recognize you guys. Oh, but do you recognize him? Uh, do, 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 have you seen this man? And uh, I... Minor illusion a picture of skull, uh, of uh, gore cord. He pulls down a set of glasses he has over his eyes. Oh, let's see. Uh, no, I have not... I have not seen a one word. Oh, you've never seen this man. Ross, right, so he never made it here. Oh, good news, everybody. They got me nephew. Isn't that lovely? It, uh, it's not. It sounds I know bad. it's not. The sarcasm you said. I believe that was a sarcasm. A sarcasm. Orcasm. Orcasm. No. I'm sorry. No. We're not using that. Alvar doesn't understand sarcasm, and he goes, I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. These nuts? That was rude. Okay, so then it means these nuts, got it. Well, anyways... Got any more stuff that I can scrounge up? I could always use the coinage. Well, I'm looking to buy some things since he didn't, since he's not here. Well, I'm here a little time being captive while I'm killing him. Uh, it's good, it's good for the war. Uh, I need giant skin. Of the highest quality. I I I show I, I would like to show some stuff. Um, I I, I have well. I have this 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 uh this yeti meat. Actually, no, the bodies. I show the bodies. I I. I don't need yetis. I need giants. I I I, I, I saw this guy. Well, actually, you need the giant skin. Yes, giant skin. Oh, I I had a whole like. Slab of uh, like 11 pounds of giant uh, thigh meat. I'm pretty sure there might be some skin on there. You can get. Nah, it's the uh, muscle. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? What do you mean the muscle? That's all meat really is, just muscle. Yeah. You cut around the skin. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like uh, uh, Bloodsport looks at looks at it, looks at him. He goes, oh, sure. You just you just need the." Uh, the, I, the, the giant marshal? I mean, well, we, we, Shriek, we have I figured out what parts I need to, to make a belt of giant strength? I got four out of five. What else do I need? Uh, yeah, just the skin itself. Okay, so all I need is skin. I got the meat, I got the okay. ice gem, I got the bait, I got the thing, and I've got. I just need the skin to make the bill. Give me your skin! <laughs> well, we haven't started carving it just yet. You dropped it off like a two hours ago. Oh, no, I don't need it carved up. I need it skinned. Hey! We haven't harvested yet. Who's the wisest person I know? Uh, are you talking about wisdom stat or intelligence stat? Specifically, survival checks. Your eyes oh, gaze okay. upon Tome. 
I, uh... I am not trained I, in that. I just have a bonus of 5. My really? wisdom is at 20 for some reason. How do you have a bonus in it? This is great. Why is my skin? Fuck it. How long Shrug. is it going to take for you to get me some skin? Good. We got some, but... Walruses to carve up and some narwhals. After all that, we can probably scarve it. Mm, carve it. How long is that going to take? Give me a number. Yeah. Give me a second. Right, give me a second. Rolling. It's like, ig ignore me. I'm dumb. I just realized my wisdom is a zero. That's why I don't have a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> A yeah, good six hours. Very well. Time to go investigating. Holy Fred! Holy Fred! You're not supposed to put yes. it over there. You're supposed to be put it over there. Okay. What kind of staff do you staff here? Yeah, Fred means better. He's just not too right in the head. Oh, clearly. Goliath, what can you do? They're violent ones, but yet they're pretty strong. Holy fucking shit. Your roll 20 is exploding on me. Now, would okay, you like some horse tusks? Or enable. Here, I believe we got some sea serpent poison. His stuff was fucking up, so we had to refresh. This is towards you guys as well. Tom's thinking of going to the bookstore if there's a bookstore. And no. I screw it. He wanders off to try to find a bookstore. <laughs> or a general goods store where he just buy a fuckload of paper. Hello? He would make his own book. Hello? Hello? The DM so leans hello. over. Yeah. 16. They're not gonna let you do any of that. You're in their store, Ben. Okay. But yeah, are you gonna go alone, Tome? I mean, I can't take the rats with me. Okay, I'm back. I'll come back. Yeah. Zen, you want me to locate creature for your brother? Unfortunately, you can't specify a person, can you? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I do the thing that I said. Nope. You don't see him. I what? You do not see him, Ben. I'm not seeing him. Well, I'm, I'm... sensing him. Okay. Well. Hopefully, shit. you're keeping track of your spells. I am. I have one left. And there is a... Did you die? Yeah, I fell asleep. And the map turned into like a four hour ordeal. And there's an organ splitter. God, you're not going to be able to go to sleep at all tonight. I know. I know. It's going to be terrible. I thought about taking a nap. And I said... Seconds, people. Well, usually, like, because I got home from work pretty early, I'm usually home from work at, like, four. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a quick, like, hour nap or whatever. <laughs> Why do you people keep doing this to yourselves? Well, We're no, tired. Because I work job construction I'm... out in the sun. So oh, no, 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 not little, you. Like... Don't worry about that thunder. Uh, how big is, uh, this city? It is a medium size. Give me a number. Medium. Medium. 
me, me, how many miles? Think the size of New York, city of New York. That's but a less buildings. Very large city, sir. Sorry. That's it, 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 huge. Never mind. That's sh yeah. several. I don't miles. know. Tulsa, Tulsa would be like a medium city. Yeah, think like Tulsa. Well, think like downtown Tulsa. Go so several it. hundred buildings. Yeah, go go with Newark. Newark. Uh, basically, you could tell from you're venturing thirty buildings in total in one castle. Thirty buildings, thirty yes. buildings, and a castle. All right, so I'd Where say you, you could you you could it, 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 if you walked a thousand feet in one direction, you could probably reach the edge of the city. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so he's not in the... Alright, so, uh, Cord is, is not in the city. Thank you, Alvar. That was very helpful, actually. He's not here. He's gone. He's not in the city. Hey, Tom. This is an important question. How are you exploring the city, looking for a blue club by yourself? I mean, I probably would have dragged Nina. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so what do we learn about splitting up the party? Obviously nothing. Do it often, do it often and as uh, quickly as possible, regardless <laughs> of the scenario playing out before you. Apparently. I also haven't actually agreed to split yet. <laughs> I didn't confirm it. Didn't deny it either, so I fully understand the whole, alright, you're going off, what the hell are you doing? But I will probably ask. Now you're leaving for the cave. We need to wait for his skin, so delaying that departure. Yeah, you're in front of the monster emporium right now, getting a uh, giant skin. Why are we getting giant skin? Yeah, uh, forest belt. We're making belt of giant strength. Ah. Okay. I'll be a mustard muscle wizard yet. Is there a general store that sells paper and binding? Ah, uh, there is. I was actually asking the guy that runs the monster shop because he knows town more. He lives here. Mohef Bellum. Eh. Yeah, there it is. Though, paper and binding might be a little expensive. Damn. So is there anything else in this town? Later, then. Oh, right. A money shortage. Fair enough. Yes. No, and if your people don't want to spread the word around, that whole Sargon is safe. We will leave it around. You hear a little crash in the background. Oh, damn it. Give me one second. As the totem just walks off. So, what are you guys going to do? We're going to pool our knowledge together. Alright, so what do we know about the changelings? They change. Into Ling. Who's Ling? That's the question. Some those Chinese. Are the, those are... Those are Is there a role I Chinese woman? Uh, history ah, check. Ling is a Chinese name. <laughs> I couldn't hear what it was, I'm sorry. Uh, history check. I click. Also, I might have put you in GMs there because of... Why did you change my settings? Because! You were about to go by himself. And well, some secret rules have been made. It. Just like or court. Oh. I'll actually keep that twenty though. Change links. I mean, I rolled it. I rolled it as court. Change links. They're assassins hired by some people. Splitters would have guessed that they would have been it hired by the. 
White orcs. White orcs. Oh, aha, good. They are okay. smart, stealthy. And apparently, he likes to use po meds, poison to knock people out. With the exception of that third one, or at least those first two. Right. So. The opposite of the first. Can I roll another history check to roll to find out if there the the relations between uh, what's his face, leader of the White Orcs, and uh, uh, Skull Clan? Uh, you can. Okay. Is anybody doing anything with advantage at the moment? No, but I help. Okay. Da 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 da. I got a 26! Also, I do not believe I gave a name yet. Or did I? I don't know. You might have. You might have gotten a picture? No, we got. we saw a painting. Yeah. You did saw a painting. Tom's just gonna go back into the cart and start reading a book with in his room. <laughs> White orcs. Smart kids that likes to sneak around. Man, try to conquer kingdoms and enslave people to do some dirty work. Are they on good or bad terms with the Skull Clan? Uh, neutral. Neutral. Doesn't exist. Good or bad terms. And they're located in Sahag over here, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Near the big white thing. Uh, you can guess that is the Guardian. Okay, what's this place? That is Fort Sahagan. What reason do we have to go to the cave? You tell me. <laughs> Just good. The rats so we, we, we have no, ev no. We have no evidence not. to suggest that the cave is where the changelings are. Yeah? But it seems like a good hiding spot. It does. The rats were Wait. told by a passing dude, don't go there, it's death. And they're like, ooh, death, let's go. No, you said, there's, there's things that'll kill you. He's like, you don't understand, I do the killing of things. We're very good at making things inside out. And that's why they want to go. Yes. But. No true reason. We know that the changelings are employed by the Sahaganites. Fort Sahagans right there. I'll say we give a little Trojan horse maneuver. We come in. As me with me representing the the Skull Clan on a uh, mercantile adventure, and then we try and find uh, my nephew, and we try and find uh, Alvar's parents if they're still alive. Yeah. Actually, Gorhammer, roll me a history check on for Targan. Oh shit! Because there is go. actually history. Here we go. They were saved by a bear once. No! You don't remember anything. Tell him you can roll a history check. What? I said I didn't want Ken to roll a history check on that place. Anyone give me a Because this is actually a yeah. pretty famous place. Yeah, yeah that's fort. I heard about that. Um, <laughs> there was this really big fucking lizard that came in there and killed everything. Yeah, I think his name was Thunder. <laughs> and then the greatest rat that ever lived, who hadn't become a rat yet, saved the day. First of all, Hogan, are, 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 actually... Are you, rat? Yes. <laughs> are, are, are you talking about rat bear? Bear rats. No, rat bear! I know what I, know what I said. Naturally. <laughs> yeah, rat bear! I heard about it. I thought his name was Robert. I heard it was Cornholio Wallace. Anyways, Fort Corn Cornholio Wallace stoned wall Jackson. <laughs> oh my gosh, stop that. It is a fortified place that was actually under siege by 
the Zalix domain. Be racist, people. It took them several months, but they finally pushed them away. Well, the main individuals that live there are Goliaths, humans, and one elf. Just one. Only one. Uh, this guy. <laughs> this guy. He's famous for being queasy all the time. Did you say queasy? Yes. He does not do well like, with like, blood. Like, like he's gonna throw up? Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. Do we still have that changeling arm? Uh, yes, you have two changing we, bodies we, and we, one arm. Yeah, we still have two bodies. I was gonna sell them to the monster guy, but you guys... Hold up, wait a minute. Uh, I, uh... Can, can I see one of those, uh, full corpses, please? No, oh, I, I guess I could, I could allow you to work at them. I, I have some shitting over here, and they're just, they're just in a pile of... Thank you. <laughs> I cut one of the heads off. Ah, uh, okay, so you said you wanted to see it, not, not, not to cut You, uh, you damaged a- I was gonna do that. No, we, we were gonna show those. A perfectly preserved body is worth more than a body that's- Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Bless I the know what you're doing. Bless the rest of the corner starts crying. <laughs> uh, that was my corpse, you owe me money! I'll go to here, you go. Here you go. I'll hand you a cup of copper. No! Uh, you know what? I'm a merchant! Uh, I'm a I know what that corpse is worth, and it's not couple copper. Watch out, I'll, I'll just, I'll give it back. Well, you already ruined the economic value, uh, sir. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? i put it back off. See, look, and I mend it back together. See, it's perfectly normal. I cut it back off. See? Oh, uh, uh, okay. You it's almost in the turn and send. It's, it's, it's too late. I, I, and... I, I, I already know, I, I already know that it's been damaged. My eyes. You can't honestly sell uh, damaged goods. I'm an honest merchant. It's all an illusion. Hi, Brittany. Right, so. Oh, yeah, uh, Glyce, uh, yell this out. Uh, Alright, so I, I, I take the head. Hopefully, the Spluter brothers don't try and stop me. I go back to work working on uh, tinkering up a hill. Uh, enchanting a helmet. I got some more. I'll give it back. I promise. Whatever. You, you, you do what you like. I thought it was Ratchet Orcs, and now it just seems I'm gonna stay and help you. I can't now. give you advantage of things, because I believe in the mission. And I don't want you fucking up my corpses anymore! I, I, I speak with the inanimate object. Yep, I saw this coming. You damn! We I have know, like a fifty-minute kind of debate over this. <laughs> I know. I think uh, we all, me and him, we also came to debate. the conclusion that a stake is an object. So here we are. You have steak. So I I cast a uh, speak with inanimate object. The thing though is. This would be on friendly terms with you guys. Would not be on friendly terms. Peace. Peace. Okay, well, I got deception checks. Okay. I shall treat this like undead if I speak with dead. You can ask it three questions. As the bones jitters and jatters as the mouth opens four ways. As white eyes slowly open, looking around. I need you to indicate the direction of your base of operations now. Can you do this? Okay. One second. Do? I have to roll something. Yeah. 
Actually, that would be a disadvantage. Because, like I said, it's okay. on unfriendly turns. You. I can't help you. What if I told you I could bring you back to life and bring and let, and get, let you go? Glory to the changelings! What did he say? <laughs> Glory to the changelings. Well... I don't yeah, really want. I don't really focus. want. To, I don't really want to end the, the whatever the fuck it is you guys are doing. I just want my nephew back. Glory to the changelings. Uh -huh. Well, how are you gonna bring glory to changelings with you when you're only a head? I could give you back your body. I could, be, I could give you back your life. All right, there's no reasoning with them. <laughs> I, 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 there's one spot in particular that you would never think of putting a base of operation. Where would that be? In a church. Baldax. Roll me insights. Okay. Because he said Baldax. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> He might be telling the truth. Orgus Booter, he's lying. Uh, I, I, ignore what I'm doing. Um, Why are you doing I'm, that? I, I, I'm, I'm, set, I'm setting it up to where my helm starts working. For some we reason... We were We would have known. You're lying. Okay, so... Where basically... Okay, no. I think he said Bodorouge. Alright, now you said... In, in, no, Bob well, Orgus Booter... Orgus Booter wrote a 23. I wrote a six, so this guy's obviously. Yeah, he's telling the truth. That's impossible. We need Bodex. No. Doesn't matter. They wouldn't be able to get him there in time anyway, so he's still here. Uh, we should use the guess and check method, starting with the cave. <laughs> you know, no, at I... this point, we may as well flip a coin because if the cave is rep reputed. You being filled with nasty death and horror? I mean, it's a great place to hide. Who would go looking there? No one. Well, I, I was going to say, like, what, what what if it has that reputation is because of the, 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 the shapeshifter guys? I pray to Organa, goddess of organs. Where is our lost friend and his organs? You hear Dalin noises. You hear, you, you hear Dalin up sound in the background. <laughs> Pretty much. Bloop, 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 bloop. The beeps have said it. The beeps have said it. They're in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it seems legit to me. My brother wouldn't lie to me. Oh, oh God. God. The fuck was that beeping? Who do you think? <laughs> God. Microwave starts playing. It, it, it's me trying to contact my my made up god. Maybe it's a real god. Who knows? But it's not. The skies. The winds whisper. Alright, I got nothing. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some. Put a little love in it. Oh, right. You were dedicating yourself to Kuku Khan, but you named it Organa. No, it's Organa! I don't know who this Kuku fuck is! <laughs> it's Kuku <Cuckoo> fuck? <laughs> uh. <laughs> you just get smited out of nowhere! <laughs> So I'm at a cuckoo fuck. One second. <laughs> One second. I gotta dodge a lightning bolt. <laughs> One second. Okay. Damn okay. it. Quick roll to evade. Okay. You're so lucky. Three. Yes. I'm gonna use something really obscure that has to deal. I'm gonna use my background. I actually rolled to see if I if it would smite you, but yes. Words from on high. Oh, a prophet. 
the prophet of Gork and Mork. Fair. I prefer, I prefer Gork. <laughs> Not Mork. I am a wizard of the wall. Fair. That is fair. But yes. But what I what I want to use this for is to gain an audience with uh, the leader of Fort Sahaga. Okay. Now, I have to start uh, perhaps uh, gathering uh, uh, contacts. I'm not going to say this is going to be instantaneous, but I should be able to do this via the church. Perhaps. I don't. Or we could try and find a a, 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 a nomadic tribe of uh, Gork and Mork worshippers. Hey, anyone know where the White Orcs are located? Yo, yeah, where the White Orcs at? Hmm. I mean, the White Orcs are to the east, uh, Organ. Let me roll something. Tom's just reading his book while riding shotgun. <laughs> that way I can still assist with rolls and have an excuse to just completely and utterly zone the fuck out. <laughs> are we just walking around town? Yeah, pretty much. Alright, I want to say that we're, we, we, we're, we're going to be walking in roughly the same direction, like as straight of a line as we could uh, from the castle to where we are to try and like maybe roll a couple investigation checks to try and find the point where uh, a skull got taken down to the ground. Or Gore Cord got, got caught in that neck gun. Actually... Hmm. Roll me perception check. Okay. Can I roll investigation check? No, this is perception. But, but I'm but I'm conducting an investigation. Yeah, I know. Ah, boot four. Balls are rebooting. I'll I'll let someone give you advantage. Okay. I hope you help. Can somebody with a better fucking wisdom do a roll Fair. instead? Oh man, you you, you know. Tom. My wisdom is a zero, so. Splitter to save the day! <laughs> Sir, guys, hey, 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 hey! Hey, we're, we're just trying well, to help! I'm gonna roll it twice just for you. Whack! <laughs> Here's the. Tom, I will smite you all of you. Damn. There will be a tornado uh, that will strike you all. Oh, hey, 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 hey. To the you know what? It's I a group activity. The said fuck skull, but you know we're trying to help. God. Okay. You're so rude. Tobe. I persuade the cave to tell me if anything's in it. You're not even near I the cave. I kidnapped, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I will smite you all. The cave. <laughs> but anyways. I, I, I like that plan. Let's persuade the cave. Anyways. Tell them you hear people talking about how Fort Sahakin has been dealing with white orcs for a while now. Before I reply to this, I must know. Am I a kobold with just ear holes, or am I Zito kobold with actual fucking ears? Zito. There's an ear twitch, but he says nothing. It's... The player intention is to bring it up once we get the material in need so we can leave. Wait, how do we know he's taken and just not missing? <laughs> Freaking Orcus Looter. He's been missing for a while. Oh, uh, yes. 
Thank you for walking novations and stuff like that. Roll me investigation. Nah, skull. Who else is rolling? Is it all of us again? Eh, it's just skull. <laughs> whole group starts I rolling. rolling. I, w I went up to take a piss. No, I was saying, uh, roll investigation. Okay, can diddly do hey. is what I'm good at. Anybody want to help me? Anybody go? Yeah. I'll help. Anybody go magnifying glass? Wait, 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 hold up. Uh. Hey, wait, I can do something extra for you. Yeah. I touch you. <sighs> Where do you touch that, him? That, that looked like a bad touch. Uh, you, you, should, you shouldn't just touch people whenever you feel like it. You have to ask for permission. I learned that from Mom. Hey, did I? Did I, did I help? You could, can I add that to an investigation check? Yeah, it's an investigation is an intelligence check. No, it's an check, intelligence so yeah. check. Uh, add the result to one intelligence check of its choice. So anything that takes intelligence, you can add to it. Can I do this? Do you show it? Uh, yes. Okay. Now roll a d6. Hells yeah! You get a better result. Oh, yeah! 30! That's, that's a 32. Yeah. I'm the smartest fucking orc who ever lived. My nickname's Orchimedes. A, a chest magically appears. Okay. Da, 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 da. <laughs> you find a poo. Shit. But yeah, Bull so was... shit. Exactly. You didn't find tracks or anything? Nothing? I was joking, Ben. Okay. As you were roaming around... Looking through alleyways, you do look mm -hmm. over where basically where you sent him from the castle towards the Must Emporium, and you do see a two wicked boots that he had on his feet hanging on a pole. Like shoes on power lines? Yes. Okay. You, they look like they would have. They seem to be snagged, on the pole. So whatever happened, it happened here. Hmm. Also, you got me. Got yourself some flying boots. Boots are flying. Well, I gotta get them. Yeah. They're up there, Roy. Yep. Can I fly? Do not think so. I mean, you could cast fly. I don't know. I didn't take it for some reason. Roll me intelligence check. Okay. Or hammer. There's now smoke coming out of your ears. Hey. Do you want to touch me again, uh, Elvor? <laughs> uh, 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 that was a cantrip. Here, 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 here Am I allowed to use here it again? It's you can cantrip. use my intelligence modifier. Can, can I use it again? Can I only use cantrips once? You can use it whenever you want. Okay, here you go. And then use my intelligence modifier. <laughs> This says okay. 18 plus... Now roll another d6. Uh, I thought it was, uh, you had you, you rolled your investigation, and then you add the modifiers, or are we yeah. just rolling it again, and now we're adding them? No, that's, that's fine. You, you, you just get, yeah, yeah, what's your... What's your it's five. five. My intelligence five plus five. is 20, right, so Okay, so that's 22 plus five. Oh, that was Ori's looter that rolled intelligence. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I was looking at who rolled intelligence first. It was Orgot Spooter. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he, he did. He did. He did roll intelligence, not investigation. But yes. 
What the fuck? I <laughs> waited. I, I, <laughs> I wasted a that 20 because I wanted to click a button. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I think that I think that's investigation. Yep, definitely I mean, investigation. Uh, yeah, just, investigation just subtract. I mean, actually, actually, okay. technically, it's the same modifier as my investigation <laughs> check. So. Oh, that means you can add the intelligence <laughs> stick to it. <laughs> add, a, add a five and a four to that. Thirty-nine. A, hold on. We <laughs> That's so. not, no, no, no. I'll take the eighteen. I'll take a twenty-seven. A twenty-seven kicks ass. And you think that so I'm gonna roll damage? But yes, through your intelligence, Scorehammer, you can probably. Yeet one of the rats up in the air and try rub boots. <laughs> or you could have blasted the freaking pole. I, yeah, I just blast the boots out, it, 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 it down from. I blast whatever's holding up the wire. Yeah, you basically blast the pole as it just drops the boots right in your hands. Yeah. I can't speak with an inanimate object on the boots. Yeah, While okay. also moving away at a very quick pace. Yeah, you do hear some footsteps coming your way. As you guys quickly move out. <laughs> Run. Dun, 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 dun. Eek. Why aren't you running? Tell was just walking and reading a book. <laughs> but yes. You grab on the boots as they come alive. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Where, 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 where's, where's Goku? Where is he? I don't know. It happened so fast. One minute we were flying. Next minute, it dropped. We dropped. Everything went dark then. So you didn't know, you didn't see what direction they went? No. No. We were just hanging there for a while now. Until you guys came in. Shit. Thank you. I dropped the spell. Yep. I put on the boots. Okay. Uh, so, what do you guys do now? It's about... It's been about... Uh, I'll say an hour. Right. You got five hours left. I begin gathering contacts. Do, is there a criminal amongst the group, perhaps? No. Are you sure? Is there it's a small, rundown town. Okay. I started asking questions about uh, if there are any roaming uh, orc tribes, preferably non-white orcs, perhaps black orcs. Reference to. Brian's campaign, I'm guessing. <laughs> no. Black no. orcs. We know, they, they, have, we know yeah. they hate white orcs. So. That's racist. Race yeah, no, there's some terrible race wars. <laughs> I mean, it looks like we're going up against the, the white orcs. Why not in, in, invest in some black orcs? Uh, they don't I mean, know if they... What do they bring to the table? <laughs> Expendable uh, human shields. Well, orc mm -hmm. shields. Uh, okay. They, they, they will be worshippers of Gork and Mork. 
or okay. uh, probably Gork, because the white orcs probably worship more. Or someone else. It's true. Gork or worship fucking Cleopatra, so yeah. I hate you all. <laughs> For that. But yes. They don't know much about the orcs that wander around, but yet they do tell you about a wandering uh, dwarf. What is his name? Alva. Not Alva. Silva. <laughs> no. <laughs> I ask whoever tells me this. I need to label these people. Okay. One second. Just saying, hey, I need. Uh, really bad, man. We can't hear uh, I need to go pick so up something, so I'm in the car right now. So if you need me to do something, please roll. They say, all they heard was his last name was Iron Skin. The orc known as Iron Skin. Thank you. Uh, no, dwarf, dwarf. Wait, no, no, the dwarf, dwarf. You remember meeting him at the beginning of Sahagen? Right, I thought he was silver. Sorry. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, we we heard you. You said you had yeah. to go get something. That you'll Ooh, be back. Yeah, I have, to go, I have to go get something. I'm in the car, so if you need me to, yeah, yeah, do roll. something, I'll tell you. Then please. But yes, that's all they tell you. Mm -hmm. That's and all where they know. was he going? I know he told us where he was going. Uh, you know that he was heading to, to north. They tell you that they only met him like once. That was oh no, like but we we met week. him. Yeah. Where where did he say he was going? Ah, uh, he did. He was heading, uh... No, he definitely did. He definitely did tell us where he was going. He did, in fact, tell us where he was going. I, do, I remember because it wasn't where we were going. I remember it being the uh, village on the coast that, that's right next to Ufsan. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, Fort Sahagen. Yeah, it's Fort Sahagen. <laughs> Yeah, this uh, is Fort Sahagen. Yep. No, I thought Fort Sahagen was this guy. No, uh, no. that's Sahagen, the, the, the city. This is a military installation. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Actually, this is just the uh, Guardian Beast. Oh, okay. It's like the difference between Indianapolis and the S USS Indianapolis. Well, I think we should go to the original plan we had last time. We'll go to the cave, via down, and then upwards to Fort Sahagen. There's all, and we'll see the entire possibility. Has anybody told us what is in the cave? Just danger. Dang, no specifics. No, no, just that it would kill us, but we laughed in their face. What are the odds that the Black Orcs are in the cave? Uh, I'd say one in seven. One in seven. Damn what are the other seven? Uh, what are the other six? Uh, Wait. Are, are, aren't we looking for the white Don't ask stuff? questions I don't have answers for. No, we're, we're, we're looking for the white, the white orc stuff, right? Why are we worried no, about no, 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 we know where the white orcs are. We know where they are. The right. fort is actually having to deal with some orcs of a snowy coloration. So. Yep. Step in. Ah! I, almost, I almost said a mildly racist word on stream. Thank you. can't so. stay on stream. If, if, if my Contain hunch is yourself. correct. Contain yourself. Oh, also, if my hunch is correct, why orcs are war because they live well in all this fucking snow? Um. Damn. Black orcs are black because they live underground. That's at least my theory. I don't have no, I've got no. no evidence whatsoever to back this up. That, but that it sounds. That makes sense. The, the, the it, it makes sense, right? Snow on them. So that means well, they could. The ones that are dirt so, have dirt on them. 
I would just like to say that that means they can see you, in the dark. You, you you can't assume that just because the race lives underground that its skin is black. Remember what happened to the drow. Well, blend in. Every, 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 everyone knows that they're literally white because they were never exposed to the sun. Okay, Sorry. everyone yeah, take the well, <laughs> intelligence. I, 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 just, I just brought real, real world politics into this. I apologize. Oh, <laughs> everyone is time for a negative intelligence. Alvar just raises his hand and goes, Okay, two questions. Does that mean that the black orcs can see in the dark? And two, why do they call the dark elves dark elves when they're white? But they're not white. They're, they're black skin and white hair. What the fuck are you on about? Oh, the, sorry, from what he just said is that they have pale skin, and I was like, oh. They go to, to intelligence. <laughs> I was asking a question. I'm not taking right. account of the intelligence. I was joking, Ben. Right. So where did the dwarf say he was going? Apparently, well, people mistaken to here, but yet... He was going to this mountain right here. Oh, that place. Okay. Right. So we got one F3 option. We got to the, got to the cave and roll the dice on there being Blackhawks there. Or Changelings there. It's one or the other. Or, 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 or it's the X Factor. In which we don't know what's in there. And it's completely unrelated. Option two, we go to the mountain. See, we can hook up with this dwarf who's obviously connected. That's a good oh. idea. He really isn't connected. This is the team talking. Or option three. We try the, 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 the political maneuvers where I'll try to weasel my way in to a, 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 a meeting of sorts with people of power. Within Fort Sahog, as a representative of the the the, 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 the war, the Gork Mork, and the war in general, I, I as a uh, temporary representative of Ulfusen, I I support this idea. I could be your supporter to, so that they go don't go like, who the fuck are you? Yeah, they go, who the fuck are you to you? And then I'll just go like, I support him. But they don't know who you are. Yeah, they do. Do, 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 do they go? I wouldn't just go past your head. No. <laughs> right. I have the seal. <laughs> cool. So we got. Can we just head off to like where we're supposed to? Go? Yes. Clearly you're finding nothing here. So, six hours okay. passed. We'll all take a vote. I right, vote for the cave. Cave! I mean, the cave is the only lead that's closest to Ulfsen, so... The likelihood of the kidnappers being there is high, because that's the only lead that we have so far. So... Yeah, Get some check method! Get some check method! Don't worry about the team, just... Making X's here and there. Personally, I'd rather we're, just we're go gambling on black orcs being one, there, and that's why it's so dangerous. But yes, I'd rather go to the fort, but I think I'm being outvoted. Okay, that's one for the fort, two for the cave, three for the cave, uh, Alvar. Three for the cave. I'm only going with like the majority here, so if, if people want to go to the fort, I'll vote for the fort. So, so, all right, so that's one abstain. Okay, to the cave it is. Blood. Yo, I, I, I sort of, I, I, I don't, uh, or, organ splitter? What, what do you want to do again? Uh, hey. uh, we were going to check the cave and then go to Fort Sahagen from there. Which is closer? The cave. Cave. Okay. Cave. Hey, so do we want to stock up on supplies first? No. Um. Venture boldly with no, no one's gone before, but, like, what we have. I'll go, get me joints, I'll go get me joint skin first. But the economy in, in Sahagan is in shambles, so I doubt that we'll be able to afford supplies. 
Especially because I'm the only one with money. Oh, money. Supplies before we go into the cave, just to be safe. The storm on Ufosun has been devastating for the economy. Actually, it's just been everywhere on Sahagin. Whatever. But yes, six hours have passed as you come back to the Monster Porium. Now I'm charging 5,000 gold for the skin. You fucking... You're hey. out of your fucking mind. We gave him the skin. Yeah. Yeah, fair. It'll drop it down to 2,000. It'll drop it down to, like, 250. Romy Persuasion. 250 and a Snickers. 250s and I don't blast them. 250 and... 250 and I don't shut off all these bombs inside your shop and he opens up his coat. So it's the all scrap bombs. Man. <laughs> it's just you see all 15 Goliaths. So I pull out their great axes. Uh, so, Looking at you. I, 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 I would just like to say that this is a suicide bomber move. This isn't a fight. So it's it's going to be, let's see. A long if, gulk bomb. If we just go ahead and do all the bombs I have, we have eight fall bombs. We have fucking uh, Roll me three Efrit bombs. And two oh. lightning shark bombs. Please roll me a persuasion so I can oh, give him some to drop a price. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Oh, they just calm down, sir. Calm, calm down, down, people. I'll yes. roll a persuasion Skull. to nope. drop down the price. We already did. Skull already did. We're good. This works okay. because it, because Bloodsplooder is standing right behind him with a bunch of bombs strapped to his chest. <laughs> Every <laughs> Goliath <laughs> holding out their crit axes. But yes. Remember the guns? That... Oh, God. Oh. Fine. Fine. Since you brought me the body in good contact, I can pet parts with the skin. Yeah. And on this, and do not bring that rat here ever again. He points Which over one? to <clears throat> Blood Spooter. That's currently holding all the bombs. <laughs> <laughs> There. Just fucking thirteen bobs just strapped to the inside of his coat, and he's just staying. Every time someone looks at him, he just opens his coat to show them, and he closes it back up again. They're still holding their <laughs> just axes. A, just a detonator in his hand, just hovering over it, staring them in their eyes. The Goliaths do not care I'm, about the bombs. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say. Are, 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 I, are you sure, Sheree? Oh are you yeah. Sure, they don't care about the bombs. Oh, yeah. Because I would just I'm, like to say, I have eight bombs that do 1d8 damage. I have uh, two bombs that do 3d6 plus 1d6 damage. And then I have another three bombs that do 3d8 plus 44 damage. So, I'm just going to say uh, the persuasion that I was going to do, even if I passed or failed, uh, Alvar would just be like in tears. It, not even trying to ch he talk charmingly. He, he would just be like, please, please lower the price. Please. If they do it, I'm probably going to die because of their explosion. Please. I'm begging you. Lower the price for your sake and mine. Ben, you would not care. What, kind of, what kind of damage is Just roll all the damage for all my bombs and see how much damage this does. But yes, yeah, so he agrees to the price and he does give you the skin. Now let's get you. Can I take you a day to make this? Okay. Probably gonna take us a day to get to the cave. Uh yeah. Uh, a couple of days actually. Couple of days. Yeah, uh, two. Alright, I forgot to add the third bomb in there. <laughs> we could do it in nine. <laughs> At this range, I'm not sure a dexterity save throw would save them. <laughs> that would charge through the bombs. So we'll say on a so 20 damage, then another. Uh, well, we'll call that 29 damage, and then a another 26 damage. Just for three bombs, I still got you know 
11 more of them. <laughs> but yeah. Calculating how much damage. Anyways. Know. Also, we, we would all be dead too. It's fine. Sacrifices <laughs> I'm willing to make. Sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> but yes, you gather Sacrifices. your stuff. <laughs> Gorham, I believe you go to your room and start making the. Uh, The belt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I believe Tome is going to drive the cart. Yes. Yeah. Roll me and all handling. Wow. Oh, yes. Orgus Blue, roll me and all handling. Better question. Am I. Driving with no shotgun co pilot? Am I driving this alone or is someone sitting with me? I was I'll sit up there with you. I, I've been tinkering with this helmet and I'm trying to test it out. I made myself a helmet of awareness. Which is this. Because I, I have more stuff that I can abuse. Okay, I'm going to ask a question real quick. Yes. No, there is no windows, so you cannot make a little wall between you and Bus Peter. Oh, that's not the question. <laughs> I, I, I give you incredibly detailed uh, information about how to properly blood a fucking uh, frost. Why? So then you, you insert the catheter into question. its blood veins to get its blood out. And as it's draining its blood, you you that would be a put it inside of you put it inside of your um of your of your um your your catheter bags. <laughs> hey, uh, Colby, Colby, before you continue, that, I just want you to let you know that a girl that came and gave me my stuff heard every single word that you just said, and she looked at me like I was insane. <laughs> the catheter bag. Yes. <laughs> Last no, the they started with the insert the catheter, and she's like, "Hold on, guys, hold on." Roll me an insight check, Blood Spooter. Insight. Okay. Yes. As you're looking at tone a little bit. All right. Uh, just to um, just to make this a little more even, I'm going to flash a genius on this too when I roll. <laughs> So, uh, cause I have a plus zero to insight, so, let me, actually, you know what, let me just click this, proficiency of not playing. <laughs> insight. Plus five is a I love how he got cut off halfway through the word nine. <laughs> it's just Tom being Tom, man. He's just driving the cart. So, <laughs> once you fill the cart, once you fill the captor, after with with the blood of your enemies, you you um. Wouldn't you, you, you just now have like a large blood. bucket, hang them, and just let them the blood drip off of them into the bucket? No, no, that, that well, you could do that, but that's kind of a messy way to get blood. Uh, you you want to actually run the tubing and stuff into <laughs> veins to pull the blood out, because if you just had it drip into a bucket, you could get other debris up in there. So you it is actually, actually starting to get nighttime though around. It's starting to get ten. I just, like, you can, you can, you can tell that the way this shit is working, if you know anything about fucking Warhammer orcs, they build shit that should not work, but it does. This is exactly what's going on with Blue's Food Raids. He's, he's, he's creating methods that should not work that does because he believes it should. That's all it is. By the way, uh, I just gotta mention this before I forget it. I just past a police officer arresting a drug dealer while the other police officer was inside a wing stop and he just walked out with food. Nice. Okay. And I was just like, what the fuck? That has nothing to do with D&D. &D. Fuck no. off. Come on. I know, but there, it was just so bizarre. I'm gonna mute uh, you. Okay. But yes. As the cart is driving about... Those who are inside can roll me a perception check. Oh, what that stealth 
Ah, oh, cool. You said can. Choose yes, can. you can. That looks like the mountain that you're supposed to be crossing on the other side, but don't worry about it, Skull. Nothing's going there. I'm, I'm <laughs> Skull, why are you staring at that wall so hard? I'm <laughs> it's just yeah, a wall, man. That. What's my perception? I don't oh, know. Yeah, Just for personal reasons, testing. Uh, Orgus Booter, you see snow. Everyone just say something real quick for me. Hello. Hey. Penis. Cock. Whoa. Nuts. Throbbing shots. The nut. The fuck is with that? What the heck? Dicks. I unmuted the stream, it was making sure the audio worked. Because when I looked oh, yeah. back over, it we was do, like, hey, hey, interruption. We do have to do checks for that. But yeah. You're just looking out and you'll see the wonderful snow. of Sahagen. Nothing going on. If you guys don't pay attention to the map, then eh. Oh, yeah. Wait, do, do, do the people oh, who are oh, driving oh, have oh. to roll also? Yeah, it's home rolled a nat 20 to get us to where we're going. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Whatever. Why do you think that stealth was there for? Wow, it's a genius again! <laughs> 18. <laughs> again. Why do you think he rolled stealth? <laughs> Whatever. Fair enough. I use my <laughs> passive perce perception and add my flash genius to it. <laughs> okay, I just want to say, you, him rolling stealth, or something like this, makes I... me think he's stealing from the car funds. No, 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 which he's means driving that the cart. We're gonna have to kill him. No, no, he's driving the carts. I believe you, Shriek. You would never lie to me. Yes, I'm not lying to you. Alright. But yeah, it is 10 o'clock as people, as the sun. Sully dips down, and people are going into the cart. Has anyone got to keep watch? Yes. I will. Uh, I will keep the first watch because I want to test out my my new helmet. I made for myself. Okay. Tom will give you a heading pointing in a certain direction. Just keep traveling that that way. Then, just, 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 just a straight line in that direction. Okay, that that, sh that shouldn't that shouldn't yeah. be too, too, too that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, so what happens if I get lost? Oh, you're gonna actually have someone drive the cart while it's at night. I mean, the seats are warm, you so know what? that's true. We're gonna just stop here and rest. Besides, it'd be unfair to Weddy to have them do the trek without any rest themselves. Like... So yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, you, you you remember Weddy's name? Alright, well, actually, hold up. Wait, you didn't say his full name. Remember, you have to say his full name every time we talk about him. No. Nope. I say have noted as Weddy, so <laughs> sorry. Well, no, no, alright, so let, fix your note. It's actually Weddy Jeffrey the <laughs> Third. <laughs> you just have to remember to say the full name each time you talk about him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Alright, yeah. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Oh, yes. Are you guys actually going to park here, or is someone going to drive at night? That's We're gonna, uh, we'll park. Okay. Oh, we'll set up. Park. Surely the 20 got us further. I mean, this was actually about eight hours, so. Oh, fair. What kind of, gi okay. what kind of giant strength belt do we get? Uh, give me a second. Because this is actually is important. Is it? Did we yeah. add that undying one? Or whatever, actually, the yeah. abomination? It'll be a frost giant. Frost giant, okay. But yes. As the winds are picking up, 
I put and it the down. wind's blowing through the windows. And people are getting tucked when I'm eating their dinner. And eating. Nice. And getting ready for bed. Those who are taking the first watch, roll me a perception check. Like I said, I'm gonna be the, the one on first watch. So, just so you know, while wearing this helm, I can't be surprised. So, yes. you know, if, if they make a surprise action against me, it's fucking cool. Uh, perception. Okay. You're looking out. And making sure that all lights are off. So you guys do not get detected. You do see some... Uh, snow foxes just rummaging around. And actually diving head first in the snow, catching some mice. Or some shoo shoes. But that's about it, you see. Who do you wake up next? Tom left a note on his door saying he will gladly take third watch. Actually, he'll take last watch. That way he can just immediately start driving. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm, somebody, somebody, send me somebody send me messages. Second watch. Oh, I was saying that all you saw was some snow foxes eating some mice in the snow. All right, I I, I told it to him as, a, as he's about to take a reflection. So all, all I really saw was some snow foxes eating some mice. Taking last watch. Yeah, he's taking the last watch. Right, who's taking the next watch then? Who are you gonna wake up? Whoever the hell you decide to wake up. I'll do it. <laughs> Uh, I I I walk in there and I slap oh, Alvar awake and I'm going, so Alvar, uh, I I saw was some ice foxes, and they were eating some ice, although it was super fucking, uh, super super suspicious, because the shape changers can change shape, so they could have been the mice. Well, yeah. <laughs> Did I well, go one. lay down? <laughs> Alvar Alvar half looks at you and goes like, well, one. Ice foxes are cute, and two, that's really fucked up. <laughs> just, 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 just think about what I said for a moment. They can shape. So that means either the ice foxes were eating shapeshifters, or the shapeshifters were eating mice. <laughs> or is shapeshifter on shapeshifter crime? Exactly. Or, may, or maybe they shapeshifted into the scene of ice foxes eating rats. Okay, do you ever think about that? Damage from the stupidity. Why does my microphone pick up my chair to be without the cat? Oh, yes. Alvar, you did roll a 16. Thank you. You look out in the night sky. As the snow shifts through the ground. And you don't see Ominous. anything. I don't see anything, okay. Nope. Who do you wake up next? Uh, well, before I do, I'm going to make some stew. It is about 12 a.m. Still making the stew, it's cold. Okay, well, got a little survival. What else you got? Okay. What? Who? I'm making stew. Yes, Ooh. I'm making stew. Vicious. No wisdom. Okay, it's pretty nice too. Nice. 
I have myself a bowl, wait half an hour, go wake up someone, and then go to sleep. Wake I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wake up Hammer. Tom did say he's gotta take the last watch. Okay. Yeah, three or four watch. So, yeah. As I wake him up, I go like, hey, I, I, I just gently nudge him awake and I go like, hey, Hammer. I watch is over, I'm going to sleep. Also, I made stew if you want some. Did you clean up after yourself? You didn't. No, I, I cleaned up after up myself. You. Yeah, I did clean up after myself. It's just that there's a pot of stew for people to like have while they're on their watch. Okay. I go take... Okay, roll me perception. Go, go, goggles. Holy. Go, go, all the goggles. Yeah. I can go, go, gadget me. goggles. Where's the little fucker who's been stealing from the cart fund? Because, dang it. He actually yeah, rolls. at the voice retardation. Thing, like, Where yeah, is the that. little fucker stealing my goddamn card fund? As you're saying that, looking around, listening, you hear a little scratching behind the walls of the couch. Throw the couch. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> it just, I throw the couch. The Where best do you... fucking reaction. Where do you throw it? A little bit in the other direction. Roll me athletics. Oh, that bitch. My cat was scratching at the power cord that would have powered my computer. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, roll me athletics. With my new belt of giant strike, it's a twenty-two. <coughs> Whoa. Okay. You don't want to wake anyone up, but yet you slowly pick it up and place it down, not alerting anyone or anything. What do you do? What do I see? It's behind the wall, so nothing yet. I, I begin to tear into the wall. wall. Okay. Can you just make like some sort of sneak attack to punch the wall, grab it through the wall, and just get? I take my out. power claw and just start ripping into it. <laughs> roll me athletics. No, no, roll me strength. I, I I attempt to help you with you're my own asleep. straight throw. You're not you you're sleeping. Last minute, you're you sure asleep. You, you sure you don't want that one? <laughs> yeah. You, you sure you don't want that one? Last <laughs> minute, you're now on the floor. You take like one damage as you fell face where it's on the floor. One sleep of damage. Yeah, pretty much. As you're snoring. But yes, Sally, Skull, you raise your fist and try to punch through it, but yet, yeah, you just make a dent as he hear a little... <laughs> behind the wall. Is that a gun like cock? Just like a... <laughs> no, it's not... <laughs> like, like an animal noise? Uh, Romeo Arcana. Here it's like this. Oh. Well. That is the sound of something teleporting. Get. As you push through the wall, you see tiny. Well, roll me investigation. As you punch a hole through it. Hey.
18. That's pretty good. You're looking down at the wall. And in the... Uh, you know how there's like little wooden planks into the whole the wall in place? Yeah. You see dust on there with little claw footprints. There seems to be four of them. Go gremlins. With some other kind of fave fuckery creature. Fuck! We need a fake exorcist. Excuse me, what? A fake surfist. A fake exorcist. There we go. <laughs> like an exorcist, but for fake creatures. Yeah, it's. You could also call it like a banishment. Well, on what? On it's the fake. I just. I mean, we best make it. God damn it! I'll wake up the next person. Okay, you wake up, Tom. Tom! We have fey rats. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> we have fey rats. Ah. Well, if you would like, you can deal with that after you wake up whilst I'm driving. Keep an eye out there. The ones who have been stealing from the cow fund. I almost had him. I almost had him this time. Keep one eye open. <laughs> now head back to my room. How much metal is part of you? And where you can. Yes. As I leave the room, oh, one of my no. eyes stays in place and continues to look at you. So it just becomes like a big long noodle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It is! Okay. Do I have any long sticks? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe? I'm going to oop your eye with my shield. Like a oop. light tap. <laughs> Once I'm well and out of the room, it begins to recede. <laughs> attack him with attack him with your vorpal scimitar and hope you roll that twenty so you can answer. Yeah, I don't got that. Oh, I guess you just put him an eye then. Boop. But yeah, and with that, I relinquish the cart to a uh, uh, tome. I'll be back. Okay. Well, here's me checking the cart. Perception. You notice that the couch is moved, and there's a hole in the wall. Okay, I'm going to make use of. Well, let me read this. Nope, oh, wrong one. Uh. Uh, okay, third level. Oh, it takes an hour. Look at that. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna mend the wall. So, bomb. Okay. I'm gonna try to put the couch back. And Roll me after athletics. seeing that there ain't jack shit. Uh... Okay. We have 13. You're able to push it. Slowly to back to where it was. Yes. What are you gonna do now? Uh, I'm gonna go 
go awaken Wedding. Assuming they've had their full rest. Uh, can you breathe on the water? Well, it's simply enough. I have a constitution of three, so I can hold my breath for three minutes. Okay, that's simple enough. You dive in the water and boop the snoots of the weddy and lure them out with a fish. Roll me animal handling. I clicked it. There it goes. Hey, y'all. Nice. Oh, yeah. Easily enough, you managed to lure him out of his tank and get suited up. All right. I let him have the brekkie. Yes. I have some soup myself because I'm assuming it's still being simmered to keep warm. Yeah, of course. And then after cooking up, we go. <laughs> okay. Because technically speaking, the last watch, the sun ought to be coming up soon. So. Oh yeah, it's slowly coming up. Which would let me get my bearings. So. After Fort Sahagen. Baka, how dare you say that? No. <laughs> but yes. Does a 27 carry over for driving, or do I need a new roll? Eh, 27 can carry on to, to driving. Awesome. Let's go! And this is where we can end the session. But yes, you fools. The stealth check was so you wouldn't tell that I'm not going to the cave. I'm going to the fort. <laughs> <laughs> I, persu I persuade the cave to tell me if we're Too leaving. Late. Upon Damn. not upon arriving at Fort Zahagan and not the cave, <laughs> I was uh, honest, Kagero, did, did, I need you did, to roll initiative. <laughs> no, it's hard to immediately leave after laughing to go listen to the stream when the stream doesn't fucking play. You could just say <laughs> you, you hit the fucking uh, refreshing it. Does Tony <laughs> could just Kagero, say does a twenty-four hit you? Wait, 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 wait. Let, let me say something before you attack him. A Kagero could just say, "I got lost." Honestly, I'm willing to roll another stealth check because you guys still wouldn't know what the hell. Not yet. I, yeah, I not feel yet. like if he was going but to like tell said, us that he got it, lost, he would have it, to roll it's it's So by all means, I'm rolling another stealth check. It's when we arrive at Fort Sahagin. Beat a 26. Now, I feel like at this point it's a deception check because you're you're taking us to a different location than what we agreed on. Yes. Yeah, so it's also a wasteland. But like I said, it, the land it, it's not going to so, happen until we're at Fort Sahagin. And I missed out on the whole adventure that I was excited for, and the group agreed on we would do after going to Ulfsen. I mean... Now nah, I'm gonna rebel against the, the tall lead. He's secretly one of the tall one! He has betrayed us! Roll ro ro an insight. That's <laughs> <laughs> fine, I'm not gonna be aware of the, the stealth. He's still doing that, but once we arrive at the place, he can't really lie about that. Yeah. I have to say that... Uh, Kagura literally just pulled a scruffy. With I mean, chain blue. I already told him to roll uh, insight. He just rolled poorly. Yeah, nah, like I said, this the, the, this is a held action attack for when we arrive. Yeah. Uh, Fort Sahagin instead of the cave. <laughs> held action. <re> <laughs> it's just just I'm planning back. for murder. Uh, well, like Kagura wasn't doing the same. Be oh, yeah. He's murdered more characters than any of us here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you got guys murdered yourself. I just brought you to your place of death. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. I'll roll another one. But at least still, I have done it on my terms. Oh, yeah, God. <laughs> you weren't going to the cave. You're going to Fort Sahagin. Okay. What, what happened? happened? Ends up he was at the cave the whole time, and I was right. As I mentioned in the stream chat, the driver controls where they go, winky cat emoji. <laughs> <laughs> he totally got lost, shifty eyes. And this cave looks a over all the castle, but okay, whatever. <laughs> but yes, thank you all for watching. Take 45 points of damage, Kagura. This is... Thank you very much to... Enduring as much as we... Perform. <laughs> Bro just says it's that it's... you? A... It's Kakro just says it's a fortress-shaped cave. No, it'd be more like, I see the dot that is the town in the distance. It's like, guys, I think I'm lost, but I see something over there. 
Maybe they can give us directions. <laughs> Wait, this is before? What? <laughs> I thought it was a fort. I thought it was a cave-shaped fort. Okay. The camera slowly second, goes black. Second attack. <laughs> All right, Kagero. Okay, There's uh, let's see, that's 30, 49, 49 plus. Uh, so just under 90 damage. Does that kill you? <laughs> okay, calm down, people. Calm down. The camera slowly fades to black. As Voto Spirits rises up and places his face into the camera. Voto, take us out. Uh -oh. do, do they realize they're going in the wrong direction? Uh, they're, not, they're, they're not going to say the Kraken by going that way. Actually, did I ever tell you about the Kraken? You see no. what happened? <laughs>